Hey fam, today we'll present to you a detailed walkthrough for a testnet for a project that decided to add a little mystery to its appearance. It's not that frequent that we see a project not disclosing the total sum of bucks and pennies they've received for their development. Anyway, here's a bit more information about them. Okay, Carrot is a groundbreaking zero-knowledge EVM built on the Cairo virtual machine. KCARROT is designed to be EVM compatible and can run Ethereum smart contracts. It can be deployed on Starknet, a layer to scale and solution for Ethereum, allowing it to execute EVM bytecode programs. Fun fact, KCARROT is a ZK EVM with less than 10,000 lines of code, a remarkable achievement. KCARROT has modular design, so it's the first modular ZK EVM that enhances flexibility and maintainability. It enables private, scalable and efficient execution of EVM compatible code. It's fair to say that KCARROT bridges the gap between ZK SNARKs and Ethereum smart contracts. We still don't know the amount of investments they've raised, but only the names of impressive funds that were involved, such as Long Hash Ventures, Stake Capital Group, OKX Ventures and Vitalik Buterin, the founder of Ethereum himself. These investors tell us that this is not some kind of a casual project. Share in the comments what do you think might be the reason for them to keep this info undisclosed. But their testnet has been announced just a few days ago and we are still early to join. In addition, we'll cover other projects that you might want to interact with to touch some additional smart contracts within KCARROT ecosystem. Avoid the FOMO by subscribing to our channel and watching all of the videos as soon as they are published. Here we go! We'll begin the testnet activities with requesting some KCARROT tokens from the faucet. Go to the faucet page and connect your EVM wallet. Hit the claim button and you should receive some Ethereum tokens. Then we'll go to KKSwap website to perform some swaps. Connect your wallet and perform a few of these activities. Each transaction might take up to a minute to be processed, so there aren't many tokens available. It will be a good idea to interact with all of them. Then proceed to the pool tab and click on add liquidity. Choose the pair of tokens, indicate the amounts and sign the transactions. As this is an early testnet, you may face some errors while interacting with it. If that should be the case, then try reloading the page or come back to this activity at a later time. The next step will take place on Izumi Swapping website. Go to this page and connect your wallet. Make sure you have selected the KCARROT testnet network. Now, perform as many swaps with different tokens as possible, just like you did on KKSwap. In addition, try the wrapping and unwrapping transactions for Ethereum. Here is another website in KCARROT ecosystem, Swaplace. Connect your wallet. Check if the networks are set to KCARROT Sepolar. Then press mint your tokens. Select ERC20 and sign the transaction. Wait for the confirmation from the website that tokens are minted and until the transaction is finished processing in your wallet. When you get the notification, click on it to go to the KCARROT Explorer. Click on ERC20 link. Find the token contract as shown in the video and copy its number. Go back to Swaplace and click on Public Offer and hit your Items option. Click on Big Green Plus icon to add the offer. Choose ERC20, paste the contract number and hit Add Token button. Then perform the same actions in their Items tab. Add the amount of tokens that you'd like to be available for the swap. Set the date and provide the offer price. Click on the swap button and approve the transaction. Wait for the confirmation and then hit continue and sign the transaction in your wallet again. After you've received the final confirmation, it's time to move on to the next activity. We've got just a few interactions left and one of them is to deploy the NFT. Visit the NFT's website, connect your wallet and choose KCARROT's Polar Network. Select one of the options to create the NFT. 
fill out the needed fields such as name and description and upload the picture for the NFT. Click on deploy button and wait while the NFT is being uploaded. After that, you'll need to sign the transaction. Deploying NFT is a great way to trigger an additional smart contract within KCARD ecosystem, so feel free to repeat this process a few times. And as simple as that, we are coming closer right to the last activity for today. The final activity for today will take place on CalciSwap. Connect your wallet and perform the swap of USDC and Ethereum. In case other tokens are available as well, then make the swapping of them too. Surely, we'll need to test the pool option. Go to the pool tab and select the tokens. Enter the amounts of tokens you'd like to add and click on the blue approve button. Then the transaction should be confirmed and all that is left is to click supply. Keep in mind that these testnet transactions might take different time to process. Compliments to you, as another testnet is added to the list of possible airdrops. So that is done and the investment amount is still undisclosed. Well, we can only wait and see if we'll be rewarded with an unexpected surprise in the future. But it's no surprise that we'll appreciate if you click the like button and subscribe to Adam's Research. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.